Hey guys, it's Jeff with Garage Antics, and uh, actually I'm not in my garage today, I'm actually sitting in my kitchen, and like a lot of you, I'm getting kind of bored with this whole virus thing that's going on, I mean, you, you can't really go out right now, I mean, there's no movies, there's no sports, there's just not really a whole lot to do. One thing that I've done lately is uh, I've revisited my earliest hobby, which is uh, actually playing with Legos, and I'm not really ashamed to admit it, I'm a, I'm a grown man that likes playing with Legos, and uh, it just so happens that Lego recently just uh, released this Fast and Furious set based on Dominic Toretto's Charger from pretty much every Fast and Furious movie. And uh, I'm sure if you're watching this channel, or if you've seen some of my videos, you're already familiar with this Charger and you're already familiar with, with Toretto. But um, I just kind of want to go over this, this set right here. It's actually not not really a kitty set like a lot of Lego sets you see. It's is, uh, actually one of the more advanced sets. It's part of Lego's Technic line, which focuses on the mechanical aspects of Legos and usually has a lot more moving parts. And judging from the picture, it looks to be a pretty legit model. Um, I have not seen it in person, but what I want to do is uh, I want to do a basically like a speed build of this model. I'm not going to show you step by step, but I'm going to hit on the key points while I'm building it and uh, kind of point out the things that I do like about the model, the things that I don't like about it, and just show you, um, give you an overall look at the model and maybe you might actually want to go out and buy one for yourself. But uh, let's go ahead and get started and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so let's get all the pieces out the box so we can uh, see what we're working with. This was always my favorite part as a kid. I think it's just the idea of all those Lego pieces falling out and uh, imagining what you can do with them. And quite a bit. You have a total of eight bags. You got one, two, three, four, and then you have some bigger bags that also number one, two, three, and four. So the total of eight bags, and then you got four tires, of course, and also this little piece that I've never seen before. So some people like to uh, open everything up and sort all the pieces, that way they can easily find them, and also to take inventory, but this is a 1077 piece set, so I, I think it's kind of manageable as long as I can resist the urge to open all the bags at once. And that's what I have Mr. Minifig here to, to make sure that I don't uh, get ahead of myself and start opening bags that I don't need to open. And last but not least, we have the instruction book, which also houses the decals let's see here so yeah we got the got your grill got your uh looks like fuel tank and that's for the little nitrous oxide system and uh license plate i'm not sure if that's the original license plate from the movie but uh looks pretty legit okay taking a quick flip through the book it's about like it's about uh, 235 pages so it is pretty in-depth so this may take a little bit longer than expected but uh, we'll get there so let's go ahead and uh, open up the first bag and get started
Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that speed build. It actually took me just one day to do the build. Um, I'd say it took about between eight and nine hours, and that also includes down, downtime, like uh, having to stop to unload, the, unload my memory card, to recharge my, my camera. So I'd say realistically, it, it took me probably about seven to seven and a half hours if I were to just, if I just count the amount of time that I spent building and uh, I haven't built the set this size in probably probably about 12 years, so uh, I'm a little rusty. But uh, overall, it really wasn't a difficult build at all. Just uh, just a matter of going through the instructions. It was was quite a few steps. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an up close look at the finished car, so I can point out some details. Okay, so let's get an up close look at the car, and uh, it is a pretty big, big model. It's if you play with if you play with RC cars before, it's it's about a one tenth scale car. Um, it's 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 about the size of a typical RC car, I'd say. Um, my favorite area on the car, I would say, would definitely be the the engine bay area, and you can see it actually has a hood that raises. And it uh, gives you a better look at the engine, which I thought Lego did an awesome job on. I figured it would just have just your, your typical uh, V8, like what you see with the, the cylinders, like you see in most Lego Technic models. But they also went as far as kind of representing the, the intake pipe in and also the hood scoop that uh, you definitely couldn't, couldn't have this model without the hood scoop. And one of my favorite things that they've done is they put this... Uh, Timing, timing belt on. You basically would drive the pulleys for a supercharger in, in a real life car, and it actually uh, and it actually moves along with the engine, which I thought was an excellent idea. I haven't seen that on any models. So I think this is the first Lego model to actually have that feature. And also, you got uh, you got doors that both open. You got uh kind of a little roll cage uh, kind of looks like the roll cage that Dom had in his car in Fast and Furious um, you do have steering this is where you actually control the steering with the steering of the car the actual the actual steering wheel is not functional but uh, but uh, this does work to steer the car and I've seen this before in other Lego models it's pretty common for them to have have a have the steering that actually happen at the back of the car. And you also have a trunk, which uh, reveals uh, Dom's nitrous system. I don't remember Dom having a nitrous system in his charger in the first Fast and Furious movie, but uh, I guess they just want to kind of pay homage to the to the NOS system that was pretty big deal in the in the first movie even though it wasn't actually in Dom's car that I know of and you also have a fire extinguisher right here and those are pretty much all the compartments um, you also have details they use red clear pieces to uh, represent the tail lights, which I thought this looks pretty legit. Uh, I mean, if you compare it to an actual charger, they got the shape perfectly. And uh, as far as the license plate goes, I don't know if that was Don's license plate in the original movie, but uh, it does look like a legit California license plate. I think overall, I'd say they did a pretty good job with the car. I do wish that uh, at some point Lego would actually use. Uh, their uh, steel color to actually make wheels that look like actual steel or mag wheels, and I really wish they would have made uh, made some uh, torque thrust just just for this model. It'd be so cool to see a Lego torque thrust wheel, um, and also I wish they would have uh, actually used chrome exhaust tips. And I've, I've seen chrome exhaust tips on other Lego models, so I'm not sure why they. Went with just a typical gray plastic. Could have been more of a budgeting thing, but uh, I do wish they would have used the chrome exhaust tips. But that's something that uh, I can always change later on if I get some. But uh, overall, I thought this is one of the most fun models to build. And uh, I highly recommend getting this model. Uh, let's see, this roll cage, that's one thing I didn't like it. 
does come out pretty easily um, these little pieces but uh, for the most part the car is really sturdy last but not least one feature that I really like about the car is it also has the ability to do a wheel stand kinda like in the race with uh, Dom's Charger and Brian's uh, Supra that pretty much everybody remembers from Fast and Furious it uh, has a little lever inside that allows you to raise the car up Unfortunately, the instructions don't explain it that well, so uh, this is why I kind of wanted to make sure I demonstrated that in the video to show you how you actually do it because the instructions aren't very clear. It has you uh, operating the car from the bottom to get it raised, but actually if you do that, it'll stand, but it's hard to get it to hold. The actual way is to uh, actually reach in and turn the lever. You know, I didn't think it would be appropriate to have Dom's charger without Dom, so I used some leftover parts I had and made mini Dom. Yeah, I know he's a lot smaller than the car, but uh, considering that they don't make techno Technic figures anymore and they only made them in a few different colors, this is about as close as I could get. But uh, this is mini Dom, and uh, this is his car. Well, I hope you enjoyed my build and review of Dom's Charger. This set has gotten a little hard to find in certain areas, so if you're looking for one, I'm going to post some links in the description, places where you can actually find this set. And, uh, you know, this build was really just kind of a thing I did for fun. I was, I've been kind of bored, but um, I am open to doing more LEGO builds, so if you, uh, if you guys do uh, like watching these builds, please let me know in the comments, and I'll be open to actually doing more builds in the future. But for the most part, this vlog this vlog's just going to be about uh, cars and things in the garage. But um, just let me know how you feel about the Lego bills, please. And uh, don't forget to like, and, like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, talk to me in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.